Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create an old videotape retro look effect for your video in Premiere Pro. This tutorial will have good insights and a lot of information about 10 different effects in Premiere Pro, so be sure to check it. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as old videotape. Click OK. We will bring our media footage onto our project panel. Drag the footage and place it on the sequence panel to create a new sequence. Here we have this peaceful footage of people playing. We will turn this video into an old video style retro effect by using 10 amazing effects. Go to project panel, click on this new item icon and select adjustment layer. We will use the default settings click OK. Here we will name this adjustment layer as retro. Take the layer and place it on top of our video layer. Extend it to the end. If I play it, nothing happens. Select the adjustment layer and go to effects panel. Type in brightness and contrast. Take it and place it on our adjustment layer. Again take it and place it on our adjustment layer. Here we now have two brightness and contrast effect. Now again go to effects panel and type in emboss. Take it and place it on our adjustment retro layer. Take the color emboss and place it on our layer. Type in fast blur and place it on the adjustment layer. Again type in shadow highlight. Take it and place it on our layer. Now type in color balance. Take this color balance HSL and place it on the retro layer. Please don't get frustrated, because we will be adding another, three different effects along the way in our tutorial. Type in noise. Take the noise and place it on our layer. We will edit our video with these effects for now, we will add some other effects later. Go to effects control. Here we have this seven different effects. We will customize it one after another. We will collapse all the effects, so we can focus on one effect at a time. We will disable all the effects except brightness and contrast for now by clicking on this FX icon. Disable these effects. We will now start creating our retro effect. In the brightness change it to minus 20. Change the contrast to 30. Enable our second brightness contrast effect by clicking on this FX icon. Increase the brightness to 15 and contrast to 10. Please adjust these parameters as per your video settings. Just try to get this look of a heavily, contrasted and lightly saturated look in your video. We will decrease the brightness a little. Now enable the emboss. Here we have this crazy emboss look on our video, we will fix it in a second. Go to contrast and change it to 300. Increase the blending with original, until you get that old video look from it. For me 65% looks good. Now enable the color emboss. Increase the contrast a little. 
change the blend to 14%. Now go to fast blur and enable it. We will increase only a small amount of blur to get that inaccurate look, since old video recorders don't have that capability to get the perfect pictures. Change the blur to 2. Click on the repeat edge pixels. We will change the direction to either vertical or horizontal. This will make our blur to be in a vertical direction to match that perfect retro look. You can use horizontal too if you want. Now go to shadow highlight. Make sure that you enable the effect. We will change the temporal smoothness to 6. Go to color balance HSL and enable it. Change that U to 2 degree. And lightness to minus 10 to get the depleted light in our video. Bring the saturation to 10. We now get that oversaturated edges in our video and it looks pretty good. Now go to noise and again enable it. If I increase the noise amount you can see that retro color spots on our video. For that we will increase it only 5%. That looks good. We almost completed our old videotape look. Go to effects panel and type in dust and scratches. Take this effect and place it on our adjustment layer. Go to effects control. In the dust scratches effect, increase the radius to 2 and threshold to 1. We now get that, dust and scratches on our video. If you look closely you can see that scratches here and there. This makes our video looks better than before. We will add one last effect. Go to effects panel and type in wave warp. Take the wave warp and place it on our layer. Go to effects control. As you see our video looks terrible, we will fix it in a moment. Here we have this wave like effect on our video. In our wave warp effect, change the wave type to triangle. This didn't make much of a difference. We will decrease the wave height to 3. And wave width to 1. If you look closely on our video edges, you can see this pinning like effect, which makes our video look bad. To fix that go to this pinning effect and change it to add edges. Just like that we now fixed our pinning effect. We now added 10 different effects and customized it each as we need. We can change any of the settings at any time and it won't affect our video since it's on an adjustment layer. We will increase the lightness a little. Now if I hide this adjustment layer. You can see that there is huge difference between before and after. We got that perfect old retro look, without making it look overblown is incredible. Let's play it and see how it looks. That looks super good. It looks like we are watching an old vintage video. We will add one last twist to it to make it look more good. I'm going to use this old noise video. Bring it onto our project panel. You can download this on YouTube and it's available for free. Just Google it and you will find a lot of VHS noise video. Place this video on top of our adjustment layer. As you see, our noise video size is smaller than our sequence settings. To get that perfect size right click on it and select scale to frame size. Let's play it. Here we have this static noise video and it looks good. We will trim this to match our video by using the razor tool. 
Now we have to blend this noise onto our video to make it look perfect. Select the noise video, in the effects control, change the blend mode to screen. Now let's play it and see the final result. It looks amazing. We now finally created that authentic old retro videotape effect for our video. If you want to use this effect without making it every single time, then don't look away. I have created this amazing retro preset to use it on our video at any given time to get that perfect old tape look. We will drag this adjustment layer to the side. Create a new adjustment layer and place it in the center. Take our retro preset and place it on our adjustment layer. And just like that we created that perfect old video look in a second. You can download this preset by going to this payhip link which is in the description. You can get this retro vintage preset along with the project file and stock videos, all of it for just one dollar. Once you downloaded the file, your preset will be in it. To add it in Premiere Pro just go to effects panel and click on this menu. Click on the import preset and just select the preset you just downloaded. Just like that you can use this preset as long as you can. We now know how to create this old videotape look in our video. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. I have said this many times, but still I will say it again. Your support is what gives me the strength to make more amazing tutorials like this. You people are amazing, thank you. We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download all my project files on Payhip and Patreon. Link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this. Please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.